here. So, tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, I was, you mean like physically born or where do I work? Wow. Well, let's start with physically born. Move physically on. Born. Uh, yeah. Southern California, Manhattan Beach, Southern California. I moved here about 22 years ago, so I consider myself a Tucsonian at this point. I think that's fair. I've only lived here myself for 19 years, so. Well, I got three on you. Yeah, exactly. Good so, enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I started off uh, teaching aerobics and waiting tables and same sort of life everybody lives. And became a general manager of a certain said restaurant. And um, uh, one of my friends said, we were bartending one day, and he goes, let's go take a theater class. And I said, okay. Huh. <laughs> so we did. Yeah. I was uh, 33 and pregnant at the time wow. with my second son. And um, from there, just kind of started doing some theater. And about nine years ago, um, uh, James Gooden, who was running Live Theater Workshop at that time, the artistic director and founder, um, said, hey, I've got three jobs opened up for you. One's box office manager. I said, manager, manager, I can do that. Um, one's a grant writer. No, not so much. Okay. Yeah. And the other was fundraising and publicity. <laughs> okay. That narrows it down for you. <laughs> well, you know, but I had the managing part. Good. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. And uh, I took a leap of faith, and a year later, James stepped down from the company, and the board of directors said, hey, we want you to uh, run the theater. And I said, That's burgers, cool. plays, burgers, <laughs> plays. You're selling a commodity? Let's do it! Nice! And, um, so choice. here I am. <laughs> so here you are. So you've been directing for how long now? Um, do, you mean directing the company or directing yes, direct, plays? Yes, directing. Um, well, both, actually. Oh, yeah. First directing plays, how long have you been doing that? both questions. I know. Um, well, I started directing first our kids theater, which is our all-together theater. Mm -hmm. um, it's an hour-long play, musical theater, interaction for family, basically, but it is geared for little guys right now. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk, and the giant has a really bad cavity. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a moral thing for the kids as well. And so I started directing that. I did Rapunzel, I did Robin Hood, and I'm kind of the comedic girl, so I always like to put a lot of comedy in those plays, and of it's course. a lot of fun. And then I started directing for our Etc. program, which is our late night series. Mm -hmm. It's the edgier, raw, nudity filled, <laughs> smoking, so family drug oriented, abuse family kind of oriented very also. family oriented. Great. On your family. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, it's like Hollywood family. And um, they really relate. Uh, but no, I did uh, Mr. Marmalade and had a fabulous time with that. It was a really wacky show and a lot of fun. I had a great cast. And so then I just, I don't know why, but I told our artistic director, Sabian Trout, I said, hey, you might want to direct on the main stage now. I'm also a teacher. I teach theater at the um, at Live Theater Workshop wow. as well. So you're constantly directing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and kids and actors, kind of the same. Well, it, they really are. Kids are liars, inherently. <laughs> and actors are paid liars, so that works out. Yeah. So yeah. which do you prefer? I love them both. Wow. Yeah, I do. Um, I uh, begged... Stephen Frankenfield to drop his life and play the lead role in Taking Steps because I knew he was the only one that could really pull the role off that uh -huh. I knew of anyway. Uh -huh. And uh, he does do a fabulous job. So anyway, so Sabine says, well, I have this one show, it's Taking Steps. And I'm like, okay. She goes, a lot of choreography, it's a lot of... I'm like, okay, you know. And so I read the script and had no idea what it was talking about. And um, <laughs> I, I read it again. Uh -huh. And uh, then I had a meeting. <laughs> I said, can you explain? <laughs> she says, well, yeah, you know, it's... And our technical director, Amanda Gremmel, at the time was like, three stories? Three stories of space, you know. Okay, so, so, so for the audience's benefit, there's the Taking Steps is a show that mm -hmm. takes place on a set in mm -hmm. which there are three stories. As three in stories, a three, house. three levels. Uh -huh. It's a three-story Victorian home, mm -hmm. uh, very run down. Roland has decided to buy it um, with his wife, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And the trick is that it takes place all on one floor. So you have to come up with the illusion of three stories on one floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's... Absolutely. And an attic. Wow. And there's two, there's an entrance and exit to all of the rooms. Uh -huh. There are two spiral staircases. All within of bathrooms, stage. all within a 16 by 16 foot area. Wow. Except for in front of a tech booth. That's fantastic. And that's playing Vegas. right now. It's playing right now. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a farce. Um, you know, farce there's a ghost weird. that comes and... You know, they think they're hearing the ghost, and there's leaping through rooms, and yeah, it, it's SOS, and the ghost sleeps with the main character by accident, and it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's just, you know, I told the cast, I said, get to the top, the highest peak that you can find, lean forward, and run. Mm. 
That's very good advice for most actors. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, we're doing so, a farce, yeah. Well, definitely. So that's playing right now. What are mm -hmm. the times and dates for that? Uh, that'll play through June 12th, Fridays mm -hmm. and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. and Sundays at 3. Live theater workshop. And give us a call because uh, it is selling out. Everyone love come comedies. see this show. Yeah, it's a lot it of fun. It sounds fantastic. Yeah. I'm going yeah. myself. Great. This is awesome. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you on the Thank show. You Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Fantastic.